Oh, he fucked me and he ate my ass. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you didn't already, and hit that notification bell. So today I'm gonna get straight into the video. You know the vibe, so he's a little on this side. And I'm gonna tell y'all the time that I found out that my man was DL. Yeah. Let's get into it. You see, this is why I messed with very few men in my life. Because I'm telling you, between my last story time that I'm finna post, and this story time, I've about had it, okay? So, this is what happened. Um, way back when, in the wild wilderness, um, there was this beautiful, beautiful beast. I'm gonna name him, I'm gonna name him Sean. That's what I'm gonna name him. So, Sean was very cute. He was fine as, he was fine as hell. I mean, he was light-skinned, he was like six foot one, six foot two. He was tall, slim, skinny, you know, and he was a little fly. He knew how to dress a little bit. He was super duper tatted. Nice pink, reddish lips, really light skin, nice brown, beautiful brown eyes. I mean, he was gorgeous, you know, and it's so crazy because I met him because my old best friend at the time, I'm going to name her Tracy, she was fucking with his brother, right? Which, I don't know if they was real brothers or not. So it's like, I lived on this block, Tracy lived on the block, down, uh, down the block from me, and it was a group home right on the corner. I never even knew that was a group home. Child, I never even knew what a group home was. I didn't know nothing about a group home. I didn't even know what that was. And this story already sounds like it's starting all good. This might be my first upload, okay? So, long story short, we... So, you know, she's fucking with him. She's like, oh, I want to introduce you to his brother, whatever. He looked mad good. Because she, she liked him, too. She thought he was cute, too. But I'm like, girl, like, in my, in my mind... <coughs> That's actually what that was. In my mind, I'm like, girl, bye. Because, like, I'm, I was never the type to be on nobody's dick. I was never the type to be on anybody's body. I always just kind of been, yeah, I already know I'm that bitch. <laughs> and what, like, you feel what I'm Skinny, fat, slim, thick, whatever you want to call me, it don't matter. Like, I already always knew I was that girl. So, at the end of the day, like, whether a nigga was cute or not, even if I'm kicked up, I'm not about to show him that. And to be honest... I don't like cocky people. So the first time I met him, I remember like it was time for us to go to school, whatever. And we, me and her, I was school. Our high schools was right across from each other. So he went to like the high school. They went to like the high school like down the block from where I was living at the time. So long story short, um, she knocks on my door, whatever. So I come outside and she introduced me to him, and he just got the stinkest attitude. Like I was just like, ew. So, I was just like, he was like, oh, what's up? And I'm like, oh, he thought I was finna be on his dick? He thought I was finna, oh, let's, let's redo this. So, I told my friend, I was like, listen, Tracy, I do not like this nigga. I don't like him. I don't like his attitude. I don't know who he think he is. If his fitted is on too tight, if he need to loosen up his brim, if he need to switch to snapbacks, I don't know what it is. If he need a dad hat, I don't know. But I'm not feeling his vibe. I do not like this man. Like, I don't like him. And I told her, I was like, his attitude, he's mad stink. I don't like his attitude, and I don't like him. So, that's when she was like, all right, um, I'm going to tell him or whatever. She was like, she was like, no, no, no. Like, I feel like I just got off on the wrong foot. Like, we need to get to know him. But blah, blah, I'm like, girl, I'm telling you right now. I don't want this nigga. Like, he not ugly, but you look ugly to me real fast when your attitude is like, when you, when you act like that, you go from looking like the most beautifulest thing to you're mad ugly. You feel me? So he was mad ugly to me. So anyways, long story short, um, all I know is like, it was like later on that day we linked up again and he was like, listen, or it was like the following day. He was like, you know, my bad for earlier. I didn't mean to do that. You know, um, I just, I was in a mood or I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of nigga. Uh, and I was just looking at him and I was like, all right. And in my mind, like, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck with him because everybody like when i say everybody in the hood wants to fuck this nigga everybody in the hood everybody I, I guess in whatever school he went to like everybody wanted him i was like all right like cool like so long story short um there was some girl i used to know in my junior high school and she was that a hoe she was a whole thought or whatever and i remember like way back when 
like I think a month or like the last year before I met him, she was talking to me about him. But like everybody always knew her as like a hoe and he looked at her as a hoe. He wasn't gonna wife her. And I guess like she fucked him. I don't know if it was behind a park or he told me I can't remember. But I guess she felt like in her mind that was her man. I don't know. Still her man, still her man. Now he's not. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, but I, like, me and her wasn't really friends. We were just cool. We had that one conversation on the bus. And she told me, like, when, when I was in high school, though. I'm lying. So, yeah, we went to the same junior high school, and we went to the same high school. And then she was telling me. I feel like she was disturbed, and she went through a lot in her life. But whatever. So, I never knew who he was. She just asked me if I knew when I told him, because I didn't know him. But when my friend introduced me to him, like, a year later, and I'm, I'm like, oh, so this is the nigga, everybody. Everybody wanna suck this nigga dick. Like this the nigga, this is you, okay. You feel what I'm saying? But at the time I was like, I think I was like into girls, so I wasn't really, you know, oh shit, my my camera so I gotta hurry the story up. Long story short, he took me to the bus, he was walking, and he was like, you know, telling me how much he liked me, how pretty he think I am, and all this extra shit, how you know niggas are used to so different or whatever, whatever whatever he was trying to tell me. And like I think like, you know, we did we chilled or whatever. We never fucked, we never did nothing. I was really not a hoe with niggas. Like, when it came to niggas, maybe I was a little sluttish. Not sluttish, but maybe I was a little, you know, with bitches. Like, I would always just dub a bitch and, you know, always switch rotation and shit. But when it came to niggas, I was not moving like that. Like, I was not playing that. Like, no nigga could t say, oh, she was a hoe. She out bad niggas. No. You feel what I'm saying? I was never a hoe, especially when it came to, like, niggas. Oh, no. So, of course, I didn't fuck that man. But, um, I remember, like, my uncle knew who he was because it was so funny. Like, my uncle was the barber in the hood. Everybody knew who he was. And my uncle was, like, like he, like, 11 years older than me. And I told you the boy was a little bit older, so he knew him. And my uncle was like, nah, what you doing with that nigga? I, I, like, I'm not into that. I don't want you. Why was you at someone so crib where we smoke at? You should never been there. I'm like, I ain't even doing nothing with him. And my uncle, I'm I, first of all, I'm not a liar. So I would tell my uncle everything. So if I, if I tell my uncle, listen, I ain't doing nothing with this nigga. I ain't doing nothing with this nigga. Like... I don't even know this. I don't even want that nigga. Well, story short. All right, me and him, I don't know how we stopped talking. He was being childish. We got into an argument. Even though we cool now, I have him on Facebook or whatever. And we stopped speaking. Well, story short, I think a year later, I was cool with this with this boy who, well, this trans, this trans woman, like, he, she, sorry, <laughs> the pronouns. He was transitioning into a woman. He was... He don't have to tease the pussy or, or, or nothing, but he would like, you know, dress like cross dress, dress like a girl. Like he never dressed like a boy. He always dressed like a girl. Always had wigs on, tatted pants and all that. And I was cool with her, so I would always be with her. We would chill all the time because one of my closest friends was her cousin, so we would always be together. And she was like, "Oh, how you know this?" And like, I know this. I know him. Like, I was like, "What you mean? How you know him?" She was like, "You know, like he, cause I heard little rumors, but I ain't really paid." She was like, "Oh." He fucked me and he ate my ass. I said, wait. And when he wasn't like, she was like, I think he knew he had to know. I was like, what? And then on Facebook, I seen last year that some girl out of him. And it was like, if you know, you know. And that shit went viral. So it was like, he dead ass is gay. He's not living his truth. He's on the low. He got three, four kids now. You feel what I'm saying? And he real life. Like, even my uncle, even one of my uncle friends recently told me how he had needed a tax person, and the nigga that he put him onto to help him with his taxes was a whole gay nigga, and he was just talking about, about Sean, like, 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 as if, like, they this close to, like, yeah, da, da, da. so I'm like, so, yeah, so, long story short, it's a shame, but that nigga is, I feel like he, he, he can't be bisexual, and if he is, it's like, he like women probably 5%. I feel like that man is gay. It's sad, because he's a good looking dude, but like, I mean, let me not say it's sad, but it's just sad that like, you know, so I found out and I was just like, oh my God, and the crazy thing is like, he know I know because I used to always be with that trans, that trans woman. So one time he had commented, she commented, what's that she commented under my status and I don't know, no, he commented under her status, and I loved it. Like, and I'm not no shade to the to person to the person I was cool with, 
but she was transitioning but you could tell that I was still a, like a dude you get what I'm saying like you could tell that I was still a man like even though he was younger you could still tell that I was a boy he was pretty like he's cute but you could tell like the shoulders the hands like you could tell so that's when I found out and I was just like this shit crazy and then not only that like that trend that same trans woman fucked two of my niggas and the other nigga was really a nigga that I really loved and I ain't know a lot of people like I talked to a lot of like boys like when I was younger like I don't even say a lot like a few and I want to say more so like a part of my childhood and it's like just to hear these stories and to know these things about them and I knew she wasn't lying is crazy because in my mind I would have never thought so was I hurt when I found out no because he was just I like I don't even want to consider him a boyfriend like in my in my mind in my mind he was just like because I never anybody I had sex with I'm more so considered him a boyfriend like I never had sex with him even with my other boyfriend my other like that was really my boyfriend but we just never did nothing like sexually like down there like you know what I'm saying like so and I should have known because my friend Tracy did tell me that her her man was eating her ass the first thing he did when they had did anything he didn't even eat the pussy he just ate the ass before he even put his dick on her and I should have known they probably was eating each other's ass they probably was doing a whole bunch of gay shit I don't know you know what I'm saying I had a nerve to like call us hoes and thoughts and all that when we didn't want to fuck with them no more well she was still fucking she was really fucking with that nigga I wasn't really fucking with the other nigga so it's just like you want to say that why cause you're, you're gay and it's okay you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna just leave that right here uh, thank y'all for watching um, don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel if you didn't already hit that notification bell you know I'm coming through with the bangers that see me on here with the pranks now let me know what, more, what content y'all want what pranks I should do like what do y'all wanna see let me know please leave a comment down below if you want more story time um, I love y'all so much thank y'all so much for the love and support and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video bye